Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a great Thursday. It is bright out there, and if my memory is correct, it is going to be very warm today. Um, so, yeah, summer has arrived. Um, and I just don't know why I can't wait till like June. So, uh, I want to talk to you a minute today about what happened on Sunday. You may, if you're watching live on Sunday morning, uh, have seen that suddenly the feed quit. Um, and there's actually two um, parts of service on on the, the stream from Sunday. Um, why the gap? What happened? Well, the lights went out. You know, in life, sometimes the lights go out. We're cast into darkness. We don't know what to do. It could be a situation where um, we get a we or a relative gets a bad diagnosis at the doctor. We get bad news about something we've been planning on and working toward. It could be something at work. It could be any number of things happen. And suddenly, we are thrown into darkness. What we thought we knew, what we were relying on, gone. What do you do when darkness comes? Well, A, remember, darkness, according to Scripture, has never, ever overcome the light. So, remember that first off. Secondly, look to what happened on Sunday. On Sunday, throughout the darkness, we kept singing. We kept singing. Folks just picked up their bulletin, and instead of looking at a screen, they just kept singing. They just kept offering praise. You know, I believe there's a passage of scripture somewhere about that, where one night in the middle of the darkness, in the middle of all hope being gone, there were two who were cast into a jail in Philippi, and they sang through the night. So, that's one thing. Sing. Thing number two is what most people couldn't see that I could see is that a large number of folks who know how to manage breaker boxes and all sorts of things, engineering things, were moving as everyone else kept singing. To see if it was something internal in our facility that needed to be addressed. They just moved. So, beloved, look who's moving towards you in the midst of your darkness. Are you moving toward somebody that needs to be moved toward? That you have the skills to it? You know, the... the, the <laughs> You know, Eliza said something later in the day, like, I don't know why you went. You don't know how to turn the lights on. And I don't. I don't know anything about breakers or anything like that. I was just going to see what had happened and to make sure that there wasn't another urgent need that needed to be addressed. But there were people moving. We're thankful for those people. We ask ourselves, when our expertise is drawn upon, are we those people? That would be A. B. Are you looking for them moving toward you today? Because they are. They are. Which ultimately means that as they are moving toward you, so is greater light. 
The psalmist says that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Beloved, light is coming. Just hold on and stay on the lookout. On Sunday, we will examine this topic just a little further as we find ourselves in Peter's third sermon in the book of Acts. This time with an even larger and more menacing crowd. Until then, take care. God bless. Remember, grace abounds. Blessings to you.